Привет, stalkers! In this video, I will show you some of the best ambient mods that you can add to your mod list. Let's start from one of the most ambitious projects ever made for Stalker Anomaly. Project Inverno or Project Winter overhauls the textures and the weather system in Stalker Anomaly and it makes it look like you are stuck in a winter wonderland. The mod includes snow footstep sounds, cold chilling weather sounds and realistic arctic weather. If you're looking for a bone chilling survival experience, you should give this Project Inverno a try. Also, I recommend you to add the cold system mod, which affects your character health and fatigue depending how cold you get. I already showcased that mod many times. Another amazing retexture is the Gold Autumn Redux, which changes the base color of all Stalker Anomaly trees and grass and gives it that early autumn golden colors. I love this retexture and I get asked a lot how do I make my anomaly so colorful. Well, it's thanks to this mod. Now if you want something similar but maybe a bit less colorful, then you can also try Retux Golden Autumn Desaturated. which is very similar to Golden Autumn, but it has a lot less colors, especially the golden grass and bushes. You can also overhaul the radiation with RZ's radiation overhaul. This makes the radiation a lot harder to deal with by making the radiation a lot more unpredictable. With this mod, the radiation will be affected directly by the weather, especially by the strength and direction of the wind. So basically, radiation zones respond to wind power, direction and the weather present. If you have a radioactive zone on the ground, the radioactive dust can be carried by the wind, which is several times more dangerous. Now very important, you need to start a new game for this mod to work, because new radiation zones will be spawned randomly when you start a new game. You probably have memorized where the radioactive zones are from the original game, but now you have to be on alert from these new radioactive zones that will spawn randomly. This mod also overhauls the Geiger counter and now it is referred as a dosimeter. You can lower or higher the volume of this device with some hotkeys from the MCM menu. The mod adds a weather forecast message with your PDA so that you know how the weather is changing and how strong is the wind blowing. Now you might understand why I play with a big compass on the bottom of my screen. It's because I want to know where the wind is blowing so that I can coordinate and adjust my position to try to avoid the radioactive dust that is blowing around. So if you're looking for more realism and difficulty when it comes to radiation, you should try this mod. Well, stalkers, we are halfway through this video, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to my content. I do a lot of stalker anomaly and gamma guides and I love testing new mods and show them to the stalker community. 
Next we have a mod that once you install it you can't really play without it, it's Cinematic Effects 3.7, which overhauls all the effects of the game. From new animations for anomalies and new gun effects and much more. First of all I wanted some realistic gun effects and this mod reduces the muzzle flash quite a bit. But also add some smoking effects to the gun side chamber. This creates a very realistic effect whenever you're firing your guns. Also this mod takes care of silenced weapons as well by reducing the muzzle flash even more and increases the front smoke whenever you fire. This mod also takes care of explosions and explosive devices. Cinematic effects also overhauls the Psy storms and makes blowouts a lot more realistic and scary, with waves of Psy and radioactive dust moving at supersonic speed. Another well-known mod that can add some immersion while you're about to experience an emission is the Murder Crows mod, which makes the crows screech when an emission is about to hit. This is a great early warning system and it's very immersive. This mod goes hand in hand with Cinematic Effects 3.7. Apart from Murder Crows mod, we also have Chaotic Blowouts add-on, which adds sirens and other sounds when a blowout or a psi storm is about to hit. This is really scary and it adds a bit of a panic to your playthrough. You can also add this to Murder Crows and to cinematic effects because they all can work together. I hope you stalkers found this video useful, if you have any questions about these mods, write down here below in the comments. I have a lot more exciting content for stalkers, so make sure to subscribe and follow me on YouTube. Bye and thank you for watching.